biotic and abiotic components, spheres of the earth, ecosystem. Spheres of the earth. What are the natural parts of the environment? Soil, rocks, land, mountains, oceans, lakes, rivers, streams, the air around us, plants and animals, all living things. We can divide these into four groups. Let's see how. Land, water, air, living things. Each of these is kind of a sphere and scientists have given them special names. Land is lithosphere. Water is hydrosphere. Air is atmosphere. Living things is the biosphere. Lithosphere. The lithosphere is all the land on earth. All the landforms like mountains, valleys, plateaus form the lithosphere. The lithosphere provides us forests, grasslands, farms and also the land for our villages, towns and cities. Minerals are obtained from the lithosphere which are very important to human beings. Hydrosphere All the water on earth is called the hydrosphere. It is necessary for all living organisms to survive. The hydrosphere has all water bodies like rivers, streams, oceans, lakes. Atmosphere The blanket of air surrounding our earth is known as the atmosphere. Gases, dust and water vapor form the atmosphere. The changes in the atmosphere are responsible for the different climate and weather that we keep seeing. The atmosphere has the ozone layer which protects us from harmful ultraviolet radiation from the sun. Biosphere Biosphere means the sphere of living things. So all the living things on earth are part of the biosphere. We find living things on land, in water, and in air. So the biosphere is a part of the three other spheres. Think and discuss. Explain these terms. Lithosphere, hydrosphere, atmosphere, biosphere. There is land under the ocean. So is this land part of the hydrosphere or lithosphere? Sometimes the land under the ocean rises up above the water level. What sphere does it belong to then? Hydrosphere, lithosphere or atmosphere? Water vapor in the air forms clouds. Is that part of the atmosphere or hydrosphere? Ecosystem We know that animals and plants depend on their surroundings to live. They need the air, water, food and shelter from the environment in order to survive. The dependency of living organisms on each other and on their surroundings creates a relationship called an ecosystem. 
as the surroundings and organisms change, the ecosystem changes too. There are many different types of ecosystems. Ecosystem in a desert. Ecosystem in a grassland. Ecosystem in a lake. Think and discuss. What is an ecosystem? Give three examples of ecosystems. Can there be an artificial ecosystem? Name at least one. Need a hint? How can fish live in your home? 